Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is another episode of Modded 7 Days to Die with the Medic and the Valmot series. Well, I've been busy, well, it's not it's not like I've been busy, but we ended up over here and I've decided, well, we're not gonna go there because it goes uh, east, uh, so I, uh, I'd rather go over here. Um, the other direction because I didn't want it to enter this biome because there might be some dogs over there so I've decided to give it a go uh, a bit south and now I'm heading uh, to find a POI because POI POIs are really really important because uh, oh, let's uh, fill those do I have any no I don't uh, let's f I, I wanted to fill jars oh great uh, so there is a mansion and I would like to spend a night over there but first we need to deal with those zo stupid zombies one of them actually killed me almost killed me and look what I have found in one of the trash well look at that uh, we will increase increase mm, our skills with that let's read the, that book although there were supposed to not be any books but look what i have found a legendary sledgehammer it's slow as hell but look at that this wooden club deals 13 damage and the legendary sledgehammer deals 36 damage so it's going to be really really helpful when clearing out the area uh, out of uh, these zombies because it will do like three hit three times more damage to them and considering the fact that this is mm, that this is a warrior difficulty well tough luck for them i guess let's loot the bodies there's gonna be a shit ton of those guys we need to watch out for the fatsos because fatsos in the val mod act as a coppers when they get mm, when they get damaged, they will go like cops and try to, and will blow up. So you need to watch out for them really, 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 because once you will be, oh shit, no, 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 fuck off. So let's use the gun on him. In the balls. Let's use some of that ammo because I don't want him to kill us and I don't have really nice weapon for him. Did he die? Yes, he did. So that's really, really cool and good. I think it was really wise decision to start as a, to play as a medic because we can make our own medicine right from the start. And look at that, look at that sledgehammer. I don't like sledgehammers whatsoever. But the amount of damage that now we deal is really something cool. Uh, oh great, N more survival notes. But first let's pop the pill. Let's pop the pill and let's see how it goes with this guy. It's really hard to hit them. Oh! Cool. Construction tools. <laughs> so the sledgehammer is considered as construction tool. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, it is a construction tool, but I never thought that it might be a construction tool. Right. So we have some plant fibers, wood and uh, stone, but we need to gather uh, some more stone and then mm, we need to secure secure the um, perimeter around the house so there are no zombies oh and i don't have any any room there's one zombie but she shouldn't deal that big of a threat to us and i need to destroy the stairs before the night hits so let's go over here let's see what we can find and then we will stay for the night this is going to be our basic a place to stay look at those mm, clubs that we are making i have found some iron pipes and a cooking pot in the car with the car battery i don't know if the car battery will be needed but okay let's go out and let's let me just get some materials and then i will get back to you 
um, during the night time and we will talk more about stuff alrighty so as you can see uh, the zombies are, are already running I've been crafting stone axes and clubs well not clubs but stone axes mainly I have actually drinked some water and ran back to the pond over there which was all over here to get some water and I have prepared myself this awesome campfire well, I don't have there's the cooking pot so now we can craft actually some stuff let's put the cooking pot over there let's boil some water and for this we will use chairs because they will give us oh shit I cannot see the time actually we have um, the cookbook cookbook in there but yeah first let's boil that water that's gonna be 30 seconds and now let's see those stews because I think can we make vegetable stew yeah but we need a oh, bowl of water and I mm, I don't have any uh, bowl of water so that's kind of suck so we cannot do that just yet but as you can see I have picked up some more potatoes which will be really awesome and we can make let's scrap them to get more uh, assorted vegetables and I have found three survivor nodes which as uh, which act the same as in classic survival horde uh, mod now all you need to do and let's go into the now into our mm, thingy above over here so now we have one available point because I have completed the quest let's toggle that active so it's mm, it's not that big um, so I have completed that uh, basic survival quest and we got one skill and with the skills we unlock certain things, right? So everybody knows that already with the perk system now in Valmod. So uh, we, in the Valmod overhaul, in the previous Valmod overhaul, we were using those survival nodes to craft uh, books. They are no longer active. So all we need to do is read those notes and this way we will get uh, available points. And I have seen, um, well I was playing a bit in not YouTube gameplay, but I have found a pack of survivor notes. This was really, really awesome and fantastic because they gave, a uh, reading the pack will give you five survivor notes, uh, so five points, sorry. So this is really, really awesome stuff that you can now, oh, why the capsule is unlocked, I don't know. So let's continue crafting those guys while we do our stuff over here because we need to, we need to, oh, I had one beaker on, not beaker, but jar, empty jar on me. Right, so uh, we can use it, use it to burn stuff. Let's sort a few things out over here. And look at that, look what I have found. 240, uh, really awesome, 240 uh, quality hunting rifle. I'm going to take the short pipes with me. Um, because I think they will be needed to make a forge. Oh, look at that, another cookbook. Oh, I cannot read it until... Oh. That's a shame, I didn't knew that. So I guess I'm gonna stack those. Uh, I'm gonna keep them on me because this quest is really, really important. And what do we actually need? Vegetable stew, scrambled eggs, omelette, bacon and egg sandwich. I know how to make a bacon and egg and the sandwich, well, we are gonna need uh, to find a bread for it. And that's kind of suck. We don't have any bread over here, no was that was that cabinet no was there a cabinet probably not okay search sink I'm gonna put some stuff over here there are some stuff down there as well I'm gonna leave this here moldy bread we can eat but I think we can um, we can use it You can you we can use it to make antibiotics. Yeah, so let's make actually one golden rod and one red tea and let's compare them which are better because we need to craft uh, we need to take some um, some uh, drinks with us anyway. 
and now I want to compare them which one is actually better right so the sledgehammer is now a good thing 35x well we will have better one but the first that's gonna be on the our hotbar um, I don't think I'm gonna use this site although it's really in, in, in insane and can decapitate um, those bad guys but I think we're just gonna I'm just gonna leave it here at the house at this house this is the stuff that I'm not gonna carry with me um, I'm gonna take the book with me you don't need to wear anything there's nothing over here but first let's take this and let's go downstairs and let's loot the place let's loot the place completely some paper well we, we can take the paper but it's not really important um, I have destroyed stairs outside so no zombies will go up I know that there is a, a big safe behind those doors but I'm not gonna destroy them no sorry there is no way I, uh, I will do that so let's see what we can find behind this door I think there's gonna be some there's gonna be a toilet and some lockers look at that really really nice great let me just pick this up oh and there's even a cooler cool I think I can destroy all of this oh nice helmet the helmet is really important and uh, the pumps hat pump pim, fun pimps hat as well cowboy hat we can drop it I don't need it the leather dust tail. well I really don't need it there's nothing in the cooler no weapon in the toilet or ammunition that sucks oh look at that antibiotics cool um, I think I can scrap that brown uh, because it gives us plus eight insulation so I'm gonna scrap it I can drop those guys over here cool gloves wear them yes we don't have the cool cool gloves um, black puffer coat no thank you leather duster I'm not going into the snowy biome just yet so we will stick to those guys and I think I'm gonna wear this helmet for now but the um, cowboy hat gives us minus six insulation so this is really cool and awesome right so let's go upstairs and let's see what we can actually make because I know well it's one already it's 1 p.m. Uh, okay so we're still crafting some access um, right so how many actually points do we have four points well that's not enough but we can make a junkie yes the junkie we'll use the junk scrapping uh, this way we will be able to scrap a shit ton of iron because iron is going to be important later on and now we can just make take uh, some uh, scrap iron with us although i've got this out of out of those big rocks which were outside but now let's uh, let's compare those guys and see which one is actually better well they are the same but the red tea gives us uh, gives us um, some nice cold drink effect so let's well ah, that was a waste didn't have to do that uh, but let's make let's make yeah let's do that let's make two of those red teas and what's, what else can we make? Let's see what do we need to make the omelette. We can do it, but we need meat and eggs for that and scrambled eggs. I think we only need f eggs and fat. Yeah, and I think I have some eggs with me, so we can already make that scrambled eggs recipe. Uh, cook. And this way we'll be able to at least partially com complete our... Uh, lovely lovely quest so it's getting a bit cold outside unfortunately but I need to um, learn the pottery let's see actually there's so many perks you need to learn at the beginning pottery that's free so I think I'm I will have to go with that to complete the quest to make well actually we can find a bowl 
clay bowl. I think it was somewhere on the way here. Don't quote me on that, but I think I have seen some. Um, I need to be prepared because soon the night will be over, so I need to take those things with me. I'm gonna drop this. I don't really need it. Well, let's wear those guys. This will free up one inventory space, and now I I will keep the jars uh, for the sake of gameplay. Not gameplay because we don't have that many drinks, and maybe later on we will uh, we will really need uh, those for a drink. Although we have three bottles, yeah, so cool. We have made a scrambled eggs, so let's check if that is actually marked out. I have crafted scrambled eggs, so hello. Don't tell me that I need to eat it. Maybe that will be a thing. That's not good. That's not good. I guess what I need to do is be inside the cooking thingy above to unlock it. So watch out for that. Watch out, guys. Because you never know the hour when you're gonna be fucked. Right, so there's not much left I can do at this point. I'm gonna take the cooking pot. As I said, I'm not gonna go into the safe, into the vault, but... Um, now all I need to do is wait, and then in the morning I will venture out and let you know what do I find next. Alrighty guys, so it's still night time. I went upstairs because upstairs there is a nest and I have found three more eggs and I would like to check if that scrambled eggs thingy above, yeah, we can make another one to check my theory about uh, about those thingy abobs, about completing the quest. So let's do that, Six, 16 seconds we can we can wait, unfortunately the zombies are trying to get in the house already uh, although I have repaired, repaired the door and I have destroyed two stairs so now let's wait three more seconds and I hope that now it's gonna be done and completed let's turn it off, it's gonna be 4 a.m. soon for the quests with an O yes, fortunately now it is marked so what you need to do is actually wait in the cooking pot to uh, to the quest to complete it okay we don't have any more fat we're gonna take all of this with us the cookbook still remains in our inventory uh, i'm not gonna take the leather because we really don't need it and let's deal with those stupid ass Zombies over there trying to get in Oh shit, I'm getting too close to them and Now in the head and she should be done great There's one more. I think it was nurse lady. Yep. Hello. I'm over here. Yo You should get a bonus from like behind in them from behind but I think that's it. And she destroyed the doors, actually. <laughs> that was pure luck. Oh, nice. Some more peroxide. As I said, peroxide is, is really, really important. Right, so right now I'm just gonna take the fat. I'm gonna take the fat because, as you saw, the fat is kind of important. And let me just take some bones as well because bones are really quick to craft and I think they give you quite nice amount of experience the weapon making experience so at least at the beginning I'm gonna use this as my main weapon uh, crafter and bada beam bada boom there we have it recipes bone shift boom free let's get rid of that and yeah, off we go. Actually, off I go. And now I will just return back. Mm, I will return to the road and continue going that road. And hope I will find 
a town on the way and look at that six points to spend so let's spend that and let's start making the bows yes thank you thank you thank you thank you and now we can make a bow i think so let's make right from the bat really beautiful bow and 49 and let's throw those guys away and then i need to make some arrows great cool 108 arrows and then some more axes as usual stone axes i don't have any stone so let's make some clubs great 20 clubs should be enough to increase our weapon making skills and it should be all nice and dandy and now i can throw this somewhere here yep and the bow level uh, quality um 49 this, this should be good although i don't like shooting it whatsoever i suck with a bow but i guess it m does the job relatively relatively well and in the head no I missed that stun bonus okay come on come on so okay guys that's gonna be it for today's episode if you enjoyed it hit that like button in the section down below comment about the gameplay and i hope i'm gonna see you around in the next episode so till then take it easy have fun happy gaming and wish me luck on finding a nice place to where we can stay see you later